How goes everybody? My name is Sam Tram. Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. In the last episode, I came back to this here establishment, and we're gonna go talk to my mommy. Tell me back sooner than I thought. I was doing just fine. Tracy started her own part time, or she started working part time. She got a job. I mean, how old are we? I think we're aren't I like ten? Like, and she's younger than me too. Like. What is this, like China or something? I, I don't know. Nothing against the Chinese, but. I, I don't know. Escargot Express. So basically, what Escargot Express is, is um, if you don't have any room in your inventory, you can call them and they'll pick at, up to three things. Or you can get your stuff back that you gave them. And no. No, we don't want that. Do do and we need some money. Mana mana money. A good idea would be um, to n not have all your money on you because if you get a game over, the game takes half. So of what's on you, not in what's in the bank. I guess uh, medical fees or something like that. I don't know. I did not mean to buy the cracked bat, but um, we're kind of actually pretty loose. We actually need some. Uh, cash. You want to get the T-ball back because it's better than the yo-yo even though you think otherwise because it's farther down the list. However, stuff that is more or it's more expensive is typically better. So, let's go. No, wait, we got Escargo Express. Uh-huh. Okay. Thanks. Now, as I was saying, let's go down to the arcade to beat Mr. Frank. Or Mr. Fly, actually. Nothing too important there. Just uh, just another everyday shock. Uh, this arcade's pretty barren. No one's in here. God, there's so many sharks. I'm Frank. You are... Come on! Can't you at least say your name? I'm shy. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. That, that outfit gets me every time. The 70's called. They want their shirt back. Holy crap, that was a quick fight. Usually it's a lot harder than that. And we level up. Well, good. We're gonna need it. Because, uh, this next guy is, uh, pretty hard. The Frankie Steen Mark II. No way! Oh no! So every other turn he'll generate a burst of steam that basically gives you a chance to heal up. Uh-huh. I see. Uh yeah, let's just use a let's use some fruit juice. Oh, that didn't Oh shit shit shit. Damn it. Fuck. Well, this is what happens when you get a game over. Looks like you got your head hand to you. Give it another shot? Yeah. Good luck! Got a General Pepper over here. And it's going down the line. Mommy. Mama. Mama. I want... Got beat up. Get back! Don't bother talking now. I don't understand these things. Go eat some steak. You seem like you don't care, because that's what you said last time. I just got beat up by Mr. Fly. I'm actually pretty sure Frank's supposed to be, like, just a little bit older than us. Because we're, like, tweens. I'm pretty sure, like, Flank's, or Flank, Frank's supposed to be, like, a teenager or something like that. Because he says later, at the end of the game, he says he's not old enough to drink. And we got the crow, and he's dead. Oh, shit. Not yet, I see. Well, and he's gone. I was not... I was surprised by that. And we get a cookie. Okay, then. I thought we would insta-kill that. Guess not. Guess we're not as strong as we think we are. But in due time, in due time, we will gain our strength. Dog, dog, dog. Biting tech. Man, one HP. That ain't shit. See, well, if we just get a little faster, then we would be. Ooh, bread roll. Uh, drop the cookie. The cookies. I like cookies. 
Remember, so we call like dog, dog treats, or my dogs treats cookies. Remember when I was younger, I was reading the book of uh, like Dick and Sh Jane, and there was a part where uh, it's just Jane keeps saying cookies, cookies, and my dog was on the like chair like adjacent from me, and he was sleeping. But every time I said cookies, his ears would go up like, huh? What? Did you did you say the word? Oh me oh my! Let's see what these signs say. Help wanted. Okay, I mean, being a police officer would be pretty cool. Oh man, I forgot about what's down here. <laughs> this is so funny. Break the course of violence. Don't break the change of wind. Fresh breeze. The ground trash, and it's just, well, trash. Look, this. Uh, yeah. Fresh breeze movement. Okay, pop quiz. A Beatles song, XXX today. Can you fill in the blanks? Yes, that's correct. I'm impressed. No, yes, I want to say. There we go. Okay, pop quiz, a Beatles song, XXX today. Can you fill in the blanks? No. Zzz, a Beatles song, not today. Wrong. Oh, I get it. Not today, yesterday. Ha <laughs> ha this game's funny. It really is. Why is there a stop sign just in the middle of the road? There's no point for that being there. Like, who just stops in the middle of the road? There's no point to the stop sign. Are the Japanese is making fun of American, um, traffic symbols. My, my, my. Well, at least this time I don't have to fight Frank. It's you again. You're the thing you can beat Frankie Steam Mark II? Well, I'll go ahead then. Yeah, hopefully we don't get our butts or our heads handed to us, as it said in the game over thing. I like the music better from uh, Earthbound Zero than that one. Boom, do -do 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 -do. I like how the background goes faster as the song, uh, like, types up. So yeah, you need to play very defensively at the beginning of the game. Because these things will kill you! Uh, I really need to stop <laughs> referencing him. Oh man. That's the crap I say is what he says. Or what other people say. Hell, I say if you get that reference good for you in like every episode. Come on. Yes, he was defeated. You won! Sam gained 76 experience, but gained no levels. This is my first defeat. Failproof Frank is just now failure, Frank. You've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant's Den. It seems to be quite a powerful thought. Some kind of special power store there. Allows people to perform wondrous feats. So if to get to Giant Step, it's just collecting more information on your known. Behind the Tori Entertainer Shack, really? Herkel knows some more? Well, I guess we should go to the Merit Office. Looks like quite a piece of work, oh my. Yeah, it was a piece of work. Hey. Yeah? I guess it wasn't hey, it was yeah, one of my, I'm dyslexic half the time. One time I was going downstairs someone place and it said like, shoot, it said like, something poem, poem something? I don't remember what it said. It was something poem. And I th was going downstairs. And I, oh, it was like something poem club. And I'm like going down the stairs. And I look at it like gay porn club. I'm like, wait, wait a second. You beat up the shark. Shit, talk of the town. Our perkle is waiting for you. Well, thanks. Got a copper up here. Thank you so much for all your help. Okay, thanks. Next election year, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. Okay, hey, 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 I'm Mayor Beach Perkle. Be up the town boys, punch out them big time, kick their butts, spit off their heads, and spit in their eyes. You made them wet your pants. Why well, wasn't Dad? Didn't do all that much. I mean, yeah, I beat them, but I don't know. You're not going to take any responsibilities? No. Uh, do you think I'm important? No. Look, I'm a big cheese around here. <laughs> the big cheese. So nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick their butts, bit their heads off. Mm hmm. Thank you. What? You want the key? Yes, I do. However, if you got a dangerous situation, please don't have me take responsibility. Yes, you're a smart kid. Though it's small, the key is very important. You have too much to carry. Oh, man! No, not that. We're not playing like Final Fantasy VI. Or that's, I'm pretty sure that's the start menu in that game. Hey, 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 I'm Mir B.H. Burkle. We've gone through this twice before. You think you'd remember who I am? 
but I guess uh, politicians are really that stupid. Ha ha ha! Anyways. <laughs> Thank you. Da -da -da -da. Sam got the key to the Tory Entertainment Shack, or en Entertainer Shack. One or the other. Do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure the song's name is either Buy Something Will Ya or like the Homer Ski Dog or something like that. One or the other. Maybe it's both. Who knows? Da -da -da -da. So, the first time I heard the song, I didn't really like it all that much, but later in time I enjoyed it a little bit more. It kind of sounds like something that I'd play in like in a happy factory. Just like kind of the beat of it and all. Eh. Health looks decent. No, no, no. So, once I open the entertainer shack, I'm going to do some grinding a little bit out here. So, I'm going to cut to that and then go back into the um, shed just for some future reference. No. Yes. I abandoned the cookie. I didn't just leave it behind. It was abandoned. God, you can make anything else seem like more human than it is. Door is locked. I'll use the key. And it'll go away instantly. Same use the key, the door open. And make sure you talk to these guys immediately. Don't do anything else because I'll give you a travel ch charm. And this, uh, raises your defense, I think? I'll, maybe? No, but it does prevent you from getting, uh, paralyzed. So that's always wonderful. What a cool name. So now I'm gonna go grinding and I'll see you when I am done with that. And we're in, just inside the Touring Entertainment Shack. This, that's really it. And now we're going into the first dungeon of the game. Hear that whistle? Got to pay attention for those things. And a new enemy! The Black Antoin. Why can't they just call it Ant? I don't know. Who calls her... Uncle's wife, aunt, and who calls it aunt? Because I always said aunt. I guess it's a southern thing. I don't know. I assume people in the north would say aunt. And these guys can be a bit tricky early on, but as we go through the dungeon, especially when we come back, they'll be a lot easier. And we have a present, but we need to heal up because they kind of beat us up pretty bad. And hamburgers, as you see there, heal around uh, 10. Pretty sure these skip sandwiches here on 6. But they also have a cool feature, which you can run. And the routing mouse. These guys can either do a smash like that or do one damage. Typically, it'll be a smash, but it's like either or. So be mindful of that. One time, the first time I ever played this game, I actually unequipped my weapon and I was fighting this guy. I'm like, why the hell is this so hard? Like, I cleared out my whole inventory trying to um, beat it, but uh, did not happen. And I don't know. Also, the first time I like saw something about this game, I saw some like fighting in this area, and the name was changed. Like instead of it being Ness or something else, I was like, wait, that's Ness. Why Why is the name changed? I didn't understand that you could actually change the name in the game. But now I know. Just some more ants, nothing important. Why would an ant be so hard to kill? Like, guess it's not an ant, it's an ant toy. Two of them? Oh, no. Well, that was one tricky fight, but uh, we persevered. In a cold remedy, these things uh, cure being sick, which won't happen in here, but in the next town over, it will happen. So you will want to keep that on you, especially if you're at that point, you may be strapped for magic. What are these? Oh, I think this is a new enemy. Yes, this tax slug. These guys do are very weak. See, only do two damage. However, they will come in lot larger numbers than this. Typically around six or so, maybe eight even. Yeah, they, if you wanted to use PK Love or PK Rockin', if you're just use the default, um, 
it would you, it would be very advantageous to use it here because you can kill e basically all of them just using that one spell. So if you want to do that, I would have nothing against you. And you won! So I'm getting 108 experience. Wow, that's actually a lot for this early. I mean, finished the first town almost. And and holy crap, that's a lot. Oh man, hypnosis, but it didn't work. So yeah, these guys. Um, this is a big, big group, and uh, that's really. I just want to show how big they can be. How many were there? There, there, there. What seven or something like that? Something like that. But yeah, they're just they're pretty weak, but they just come in huge numbers, and that's really all I have to say. They're really simple. Mm, I can't say any more about that. Boom! He was defeated. You won. Gaining level. Dun dun. Oh baby. Oh, something I used to say because of that. I used to say like, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. PP increased by whatever. Like, that's stupid. Cause like, oh baby and PP, you know, like. But, but whatever. And butterfly. It's a good idea to heal up here. And get the butterfly because they will give you 20 PP back. And later in time when you have multiple characters, they'll give everybody 20 PP back. PP back. Uh, not just 20 in all. So there's that. So that in the story I was saying previously. About the old baby, old baby. I just would say that sometimes because of what the game does. It's like, old oh, baby, old oh, baby, that rocks. PP went up by whatever. Like, it's stupid. Like, it's just childish. I mean, I was a lot younger at the time than now. I'm surprised we didn't insta kill that. Usually you do at this time. Or that one. I guess I'm a lot weaker than I normally would be. And up here we have the first boss. And we want to make sure you heal up all the way. Guess we'll... Um... Guess we'll eat all of our cookies. I like the noise it makes. Yeah, the cookies only do six. Hammers do around 40. Skip sandwiches do six. You finally got here, this is your first, your sanctuary zone, but it's mine now. Take from me, if you dare. So, first things first, there are two Antoids in the back, and you want to use PK Love, because these guys will kill you! God, stop, Sam, you need to stop. So, PK Love will kill both of those, and... Ouch! Dang! Ooh, we gotta heal up. Damn, that hurt. Oh, come... Shit, 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 shit. Damn it. You have got to be kidding me. I died twice in one episode? You know what, homebros, I'm just gonna meet you back here. I am not gonna bother to just leave all that in. So, mommy, there's a big scary ant that just beat me up. <laughs> See ya, guys. And we're now back at the place with the ding and this first your sanctuary location and take for me if you dare yeah I dare so in all reality if you do three PK loves to this boss he will die but we may only be able to get uh, not that many off um, use one more yeah why the hell not we seem like we're pretty good right now. Yeah, we need to heal. Use a cheese bag of cheese bag of Pepsi Pepsi. See, we're doing good now. Gonna leave that five for healing. Well, there's nothing really else we can do. This guy also has PK Magnet, which can drain your PP, so that's not good. And he became tame. You won. That is our first your sanctuary boss of the game. Sam is now level 10. Sam realized healing alpha. I thought you learned that a lot earlier. Guess not. That I'm behind on gaining levels.
And that's the first little tune of the eight. Sam caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Sam Soundstone recorded the melody of Giant Step. Now go to your goods and go to Soundstone. And now you get this little cool screen. Well, that's going to be it for this episode of my homebrews. In the next episode, we're going to go back down this dungeon and meet you outside there. So I'm going to just go back down and do some grinding. So to then, my homebrews, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful life. Goodbye.